Hello, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> that was a weird start. <laughs> Hello, let me start again. Hi, uh, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you different places that you can find free things legitimately to sell online, whether on eBay, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, or any other online selling platform. My nose is itchy and I realize now I can't go back and edit this, so I'm just going to go for it. I am live. So if you're watching now, then say hello in the chat. If you're watching later, please leave a comment. And I am going to ask everyone to, to share a place that they found something uh, free that they could sell online. So some of the things that I'm going to share with you today might be obvious ones or ones that you might think of, but I have a couple here that you might not necessarily think of doing or finding places um, places to find things. I'm just stumbling over my words today, but we're just going to, we're just going to go with it. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. Uh, and again, if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. And if you would like, go down there and hit that subscribe button because I make videos all about picking things up to resell online. And it's not always this stumbly, mumbly, bumbly, <laughs> but it is Tuesday morning, not Monday morning. All right. Hello, hello in the chat. Okay. So the first place that I have uh, that you can find free things or relatively free or is just things around your house. I mean, that one's pretty obvious stuff that you've already got that you're not using anymore that you're, you're willing to clean out and sell. Um, and again, there's lots of different places to sell these things. So whether it's on eBay or Facebook marketplace, if you're comfortable selling locally, you know, I always recommend if you're a woman, you know, meet somewhere, well, probably for anybody, meet somewhere public, you know, protect yourself. Don't give out your personal phone number, that kind of thing. I have a, a Google voice number that you, you know, you can go on for free and get a Google voice number. So that's another option. Another place that I personally have, have gotten a lot of things to sell for free is from family and friends. Because I am open about how I make my living, which is selling online and flipping things, I have a lot of uh, friends and family that often will say, hey, you know, I have these things that I am getting rid of or it's been sitting around here. Do you think this is something that you would be wanting to, to sell? And I actually have a box sitting next to me <coughs> pardon, of, of comic books. <clears throat> y'all it's a coffee I'm having a little coffee moment and then the pollen has been awful anyway I have this big box of comics a friend of mine um her parents do I think they do repos but anyway they um had this the person never came and picked up their stuff but there were nine long boxes of comic books and they were all categorized and they were all carded and they were really in fantastic shape. And so I've been slowly working through those. And I actually still have some I haven't listed yet right here. <clears throat> and um, she just said, you know, I've been sitting on these for a year. I was going to sell them. It's just not happening. Do you want them? And I was like, well, yes, I do. And I've, goodness gracious, who knows how much I've made off of them. I mean, probably at least $800, if not more. So eternally grateful for that. Uh, so yeah, family and friends. And I'm going to remind you now, if you haven't yet, go in there and leave uh, something someplace that you have found free stuff. A little tip for everybody, whether in the comment section or the chat. And if you haven't, check down, check down in the chat because people always leave really good ideas. And so getting down there in the chat and seeing what people are saying is, is um, a good tip. All right. So the next one, which also might be a little bit Oh, I meant to share the screen. Okay, let me pop these up so you can see. <clears throat> the next place, which also might be a little bit, you know, obvious, is if you're comfortable, you know, like looking around dumpsters or cur like curb curbside, you know, frequently you'll see things for free um, on heavy trash day. Here, I'm going to share this. I was adamant with Juan. I was like, we've got to go. Let me screen share. Hang on. We've got to go around on heavy trash day. I really want to go, you know, see all the stuff that people are putting out because you never know. You find cool stuff. Well, I found, you know, or I should say we found uh, these really cool terracotta planters that somebody had set out on heavy trash day. And yes, they are heavy as a get all get out. One's a goat and it's got these little feet. And then the other one, which you can't see the head on, it's a dog. I think. No, no, it's like a reindeer or something. It's got like reindeer antlers on it some kind of deer, maybe not a reindeer, but just a deer. Um, so yeah, the, the, those were really good. We found some other really cool stuff that day as well. Uh, so going out on, you know, heavy trash pickup days is always a good tip. Um, and actually the whole, yesterday we, we, we had taken something to the dumpster and right on the top and they weren't, you know, cause I'm not into like no, no shame in anybody's dumpster game, but generally I don't want to get in the dumpster. Uh, but these were like sitting right on the top 
Um, and so I just snatched them up and they were just hats, right? So I've got to figure out what that logo is, but there was this hat. I looked up this one. I've seen a couple up for sale for about 15 bucks. There's two of these like law, law tiger hats <laughs> like so. And then there was this uh, Harley Davidson hat that was there and they were just sitting right on top. I mean, clean as all get out. I've got to see if that's official. Yeah. It's got the Harley logo official merch, you know? So, I mean, that's, that was yesterday um, at the dumpster. So good to know, right? Let's see. Oh, cool. Uh, let me share this. So as soon as my mom found out I was reselling, she said, so now we'll make some good money. Yeah, absolutely. Tell people there's, you know, Kraken resellers has always found good stuff on bulk, bulk uh, garbage days. Indeed. I mean, we've gotten, I mean, not, not, I mean, not even just for reselling, but when the kids were little, people were putting out like scooters and bikes and like, I mean, we've got so much cool stuff anyway. So, okay. Those again were also, you know, obvious ones. The next place is garage sales. Not only, um, a lot of garage sales, many frequently will have like a free, like here's a free stuff pile. I mean, we got a bunch of phone cases and iPad cases. What else did we get at this one garage sale? And at first it was like, Ugh phone cases. I don't know, you know, but I'm like, you know what? It's free. Well, I was like, just come on, let's take them free. But we've already sold three or four of the phone cases and two or three of the iPad like cases. So, you know, free stuff. But then also what you might think about is if you've got a garage sale and you can tell like they don't want to drag this stuff back in, just say, Hey, you know, let me give you my number. If at, when you're ready to call it quits, you know, if you're planning on just taking it to goodwill or to donate or whatever, you know, let me save you the trip here. Call me and I'll come gather up everything. I mean, you just never know. Cause then they might say, you know what? I don't feel like dragging it in. I'm hot. I'm tired. I don't want to put it in the car. Come and get it. Just come and get it. Uh, so that's another, you know, sometimes I'll see that on Facebook too. You know, people will say, you know, garage sale is a bust. Everything in the curb is free. Come and get it. So that's a, uh, yeah, another place to find some really good free stuff to sell. Let's see. Yeah. Erica says, tell people what you do. I've been gifted so many sellable stuff from friends. Exactly. Me too. The next place, which I've started checking more and more frequently is on Craigslist and you can set Craigslist parameters to your area. And there's a spot in Craigslist where it says free stuff. And I just check that throughout the day and frequently we'll find, you know, maybe not every day, but, but frequently we'll find stuff that's like, Oh, you know what? We can go get that and sell it. We actually got a couch, um, a West Elm couch, which is a nice, a nice brand. You know, it, it was pilled and it had some stains. Sorry, my hair's being weird. Um, but we decided to make it a project piece for the kids. And so the kids have been like depilling it and cleaning it to kind of give them, and we're going to let them flip it and let them, um, you know, earn some money off of it. So they're working on that right now. So when they're watching TV, they're, they're depilling this couch, you know? So, um, Craigslist is a great place. What else did I find? I think I got this stuff. Let me share it too. Um, off Craigslist as well. Screen share. How do I do this again? Boom. There, uh, not that one, but I, I wish I'd taken a picture of the curb because it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to, I'm going to do a video probably sharing all the stuff, but you know, somebody posted a picture of like, cleaning out house, you know, downsizing big time. I think it was maybe they were moving, um, parents out into a smaller place or, but it was just the whole, I mean, it looked like a garage sale, but the whole driveway was full of stuff. And so we went over there and there were all these like glassware. There was, um, let's see this camera and some lenses. I also didn't post cause I've already sold too. Um, there was like a spin mop and different floor cleaning stuff. I mean, just so much stuff that we ended up getting from this free, you know, just cause we were the right place, right time. Saw that the thing pop up on Craigslist and we, you know, scooted over there. Um, yeah. And so we saw, we've already sold like the floor cleaning stuff on, um, Facebook marketplace. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Okay. Kathy says drive around military base housing, always find good stuff sitting on the curb, military move a lot. And they're always downsizing. True. Same thing. I mean, you know, Austin's a big college town, not just UT, but gracious, there's so many colleges here. Um, so lots of ins and outs going on there. And I wanted to point out, not point out, but, but mention this now that I'm thinking about it, 
because it's not on my list, is that IKEA is doing a buyback program. So especially if you're, you're like college towns, things like that, if people are giving away IKEA furniture that's in pretty good shape, you know, that, you know, it, it doesn't look all banged up and it's not drawn on by the kids or whatever, they're doing a buyback program where you can take it to their store and they give you store credit. I'm sure it's not a ton, but you you rack up enough of that store credit from the IKEA buyback and then you can get something for yourself or get something to flip from from IKEA. So that's another idea. Uh, let's see. Okay. This one, the next one I have is a little tricky because different, it's it's Facebook free groups. So there's a lot of, you know, again, set it, set it to your town's parameters. Um, but there's a lot of groups on Facebook that are like totally free in Pasadena or whatever. But the one thing I would caution is check the, the rules for the group because some groups will say, you know, not for reselling, you know, no resellers. Or they'll say, you know, if you're going to resell it, Make sure you're telling the person that's gifting it to you so that they can decide if they want to give it to you or not. So I'm really careful because there's a couple groups that I'm in that I really enjoy being in because I frequently will give stuff away there and get stuff, say, for my kids or for myself at the house. And that's like I don't want to, you know, get booted out of those groups. So be really careful about which, you know, what the rules are for the group. But there are a lot out there. And I will say if if you don't have one in your area, then I encourage you to start one because then you can create one, create the rules. And, you know, lots of people want to find free things or are just wanting to give things away from their house and are willing, you know, start one yourself if you don't have one. Okay. Next. Oh, the next thing is promotional items from events. So whether you're going to say a ball game or, you know, we, we went to South by Southwest and we saw um, Luna and some other bands play. And it was an event hosted by Doc Martens. And so they were giving away these really cool Doc Martin bags for the event. You know, they're pretty cool little bags. Uh, so like things like that, bobbleheads or different. And while they might not be in demand in the moment because it's, you know, maybe there's a lot of them out there, but it's something to think about promotional items from different events that, that you go to. Some items are just like, mm, maybe not, meh. but you never know. I mean, people, sometimes these events give away really, really good stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And then I feel like I'm forgetting something else too, though. Uh, and then I've got one that's rewards and memberships. So uh, my kids and I, and part of my reselling strategy is, is through Lego, right? I've talked about this a lot where if you join Lego, which is free to join, um, with, on their mailing list, they don't, they're not really big about like spamming you or you get their catalogs, which is nice. But, um, if you are on there, you have a membership through, through Lego. If you spend a certain amount of money at the Lego site or in the Lego stores, you can get free items that aren't for sale to the general public. So I went um, for the kids for Easter let me share, and got them some Lego at the, the Lego store here. And if you spent a certain amount, I think it was like 40 bucks, you would get a free, let's see, it was like a little free bunny rabbit and an Easter egg. But then if you spent 60 or whatever the next chunk was, you get this little thing for free. So what I did, because we bought for three kids, is I made three separate transactions so that I would get three of these. And of course, my kids are like, mm, I don't really want that. And then three of these. And at the in the moment, like right now, they probably, I mean, I could probably try to put them up, but but I can put them up. And I have a feeling they'll, they'll sell maybe next year. Somebody will want to get them for their kid's Easter basket or whatever. But I just like yesterday or the day before, just shipped out a, a Dracula or like a little vampire one that I'd gotten over, you know, when it was Halloween time, you know, so that sold. And yeah, I mean, because I'll put out different ones seasonally. Sometimes it's Christmas ones. You know what seasonally means. I don't have to spell that out for you. But anyway, I ended up getting, you know, three of each of those little freebies. But then also with Lego, the certain amount of money that you spend, they um, they give you like five bucks for your next or 10 or 15. And so you just mount that all up together and then they'll say, you know, hey, do you want to use this 20 bucks off your purchase today or, you know, or you can buy something else with that money to flip. Uh, I do keep an eye out on Lego because you guys know I, I like to sell it. So I get things that I think are going to be like really hot items later when they get discontinued. And I just kind of like an investment, like you're buying stock. I buy, you know, cheap, 
not cheap or whatever it's new. And then once they discontinue it and people want it, the price, you know, can skyrocket. For example, I have, I still have one left of the Wally. Um, when Wally came out, I bought, I think they were like $69 and I sold one already for 300 and I have the other one and I'm just holding on to it. But I did the same thing with the Doctor Who sets, some Star Wars ones. Um, there's some other ones that are coming out soon that I'm going to pick up and I'm not telling because that would be telling. <laughs> All right. Uh, so also, you know, other places have those kind of rewards programs like Sephora and Old Navy. You know, you can look into it with different um, with different places. I know Costco. I have a Costco membership. And because we go our kids, you know, um, at the end of the year, the end of whatever, they'll say, hey, you've got one hundred and thirty seven dollars you can come and use. And I know it's not technically free, but it's like, oh, hey, all right. So I can either use that to go buy something to flip or buy something more for my family. All right. If you haven't yet, make sure you leave a comment about a place that you can find free things to flip online, whether on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, or on Facebook Marketplace, something locally. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out, you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.